Hey guys, in this video we're going over an example on measuring flow rate using specific energy. Now, because there's a free surface in this example, here we've got a weir with a flow over it, that top surface is free, so we know this is open channel flow straight away. Um, we assume it has a constant width, which we'll denote as B in our calculations. We always use B really, uh, but you can use whatever you like. In the weir example, the flow depth over the weir is actually indicative of the flow rate. Uh, so this method of measuring flow rates is actually used commonly in, in practice. Um, so here's the question, flow above the weir is critical, derive an equation expressing Q in terms of H. Now in the previous video we looked at open channel flow in terms of specific energy and we uncovered a few really key equations, They're these ones here. The first one we looked at was the surface wave equation C equals square root GY. Next we compared the surface wave speed to flow velocity in the Froude number equation, uh, FR equals V on square root GY. From here I introduced the specific energy equation without a derivation, which you won't need to know in this course, um, and that's this one here. This we simplified by multiplying Y squared across um, and we got a complicated cubic equal to zero. We learnt that this cubic can be solved using Newton's method of approximation. Now, um, the specific energy curve, uh, specific energy equation, sorry, led us to simplify a quite complicated equation into um, E1 equals E2 minus delta Z. Now from this list of equations, the only one that includes both Q and Y is the specific energy equation. It's got Y there and a little Q which you get from capital Q. However, it, the, the equation includes specific energy itself, so we would need to get rid of this. And the way we do that is by using the fact that the flow above the weir is critical. So if you remember from the previous video, we found that for a critical flow, FR is equal to 1. And on our specific energy curve, there was only one point that was critical, and that was the one on the end here. So since the flow is critical, we know that the height of the flow over the weir is equal to YC. Now here's the derivation for YC, which we covered in the previous video. It's quite a simple derivation, so remember how to do it, because marks will be assigned to its derivation, like in this question. We simply d differentiate the specific energy equation and solve for y to find the minimum. So subbing h in for our yc, we get h equals q squared on g to the power of 1 on 3. Rearranging for q, we get q equals the square root of g h cubed. And the flow volume flow rate, is given by Q equal to QB, 